Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. So as you can tell, the scenery's changed a little bit for this episode. We are on the Oregon coast. So we flew all the way across the country yesterday, landed in Portland, we drove out here. We're actually in Cannon Beach. We are uh, gonna be leaving Cannon Beach today and heading south along the coast. Uh, we're actually gonna be here for six days. So there's gonna be a, a couple of videos that come out of this, hopefully, that uh, are a little bit different, something new, uh, maybe not the traditional Whiskey Row but uh, obviously there's gonna be some whiskey content. So last night we had the opportunity to go into uh, here in Cannon Beach to a restaurant called McGregor's of Cannon Beach. It is a whiskey bar, had really good reviews, went and uh, my wife and I had an amazing experience. So it turns out that our waiter is a huge whiskey buff. We had the opportunity to talk with him about how uh, liquor works here in Oregon, how they procure stuff, uh, how the restaurant procures stuff and how he does on the personal level. Uh, we did a couple of really good whiskey tastings. I had my first taste of Blanton's Gold. So my wife got me uh, a two ounce pour of Blanton's Gold for my birthday, uh, or one of my birthday presents, I guess, however you wanna say it. But that was really, really good. I liked it quite a bit better than regular Blanton's. I really liked it a lot. It, to me, it was a lot richer of a bourbon. It had a lot more character than a regular Blanton's did. So I really enjoyed that. After that, uh, had a cocktail, it was pretty good. Then we ended up doing a three one ounce pours. I only did one ounce because uh, I didn't want to spend the money on the, on the full two ounces. So they, they half the price. They were, the waiter was like really cool about everything. So uh, I ended up doing a Mictress 10 from 2020. And then I did a George T. Stag from 2020 and a Weller Full Proof uh, single barrel. And I did all three of them side by side. I have never had the Weller Full Proof. For those of you that have been following the channel for a while, you know that I have a Mictress 10 at home that I dearly, dearly love. It's, it's one of the best bourbons I've ever had. Probably the best bourbon I've ever had. And then I had the George C. Stag out at Virginia Beach on another trip that we did. And that just impressed the hell out of me. It was so good. So I wanted to get them side by side. And I have my dream flight in front of me. I have a Weller Full Proof single barrel a Mictress 10, a George T. Stag. So as I've talked about in previous videos, the uh, Mictress 10 and the George T. Stag are my two favorite, but I've never had the chance to put them side by side. So tonight's the opportunity. Hopefully the audio is okay. We're gonna go through them real quick. I'm gonna start with the Mictress 10 and then go to the Weller and then go to the George T. Stag. This particular Mictress 10, they literally just opened up to pour this for me. It's really, really sweet on the nose. It's good, but it's not as good as the Mictress tin I have at home. There's definitely kind of a little bit more of kind of a bitter barrel taste to it. I'm a little nervous about the Mictress tin. Okay, let's go to the Weller. Now this is a Weller Full Proof, but it's a single barrel version of the Weller Full Proof. So it's not the standard Weller Full Proof. So it might be a little bit uh, off profile, but it should be close enough. It's not very sweet on the nose. It's got kind of a lot of kind of clove and kind of herbalness to it. It's heavier on kind of the clove and the baking spices than the victor was. A little less sweet. Let's try the stack. On the nose, this has a lot of kind of sweet butterscotch. It's actually more of a, a caramel than a butterscotch. Along with some baking spices. The George Sheet Stag is definitely the boldest of the three. Cinnamon and clove, some baking spices. It's got a, a, a bit of some sweetness under that, but it's very, very bold. This is really, really good. Awesome. I'm in a good place right now with this flight. <laughs> <laughs> good, it's your birthday. Now, our waiter is a, like, a real whiskey guy, and he and I have been kind of talking about stuff the whole night, so. And uh, he's really cool. So the Weller is definitely my least favorite of the three. Now in this particular one, these are both 2020s. This particular Michter's is less sweet than the one that I have at home. There's more on the or herbal and kind of clove side of things. And so this Georgie Stag, even though it's kind of bolder than this, it's better balanced. And so now that I finally have had both side by side, it hurts me to say that I think the George T. Stag is a little bit better than the Mictor's 10. Before we talk about the outcome, and, and you know, you're seeing some of this, but before we talk about the outcome, the 
mixtures I have at home is very well balanced. It's very sweet. It's on the sweeter side. It's got some, you know, it's it's very well balanced, but it is on the sweet. It's got a really, really nice caramel toffee underneath. And the one at the restaurant was different. Uh, they opened the bottle for me. It was a brand new bottle, so it was a neck pour. It was kind of spiky. It, some of the flavors were, were kind of harsh, and it wasn't that smooth like I the Michter's tin is at home for me. So that wasn't the best. Anyway, we ended up doing a side-by-side -side of all three. I will say that the George T. Stag won the night. It was really, really good. The uh, Weller was probably close to being a tie with this particular bottle of Michter's tin. The waiter and I were talking and he has seen a lot of drastic differences in the uh, Michter's 10. Uh, from bottle to bottle within the same year, there's, he's, you know, he's seen quite a bit of variance. And I'll say based on the two different bottles I've had of Michter's 10 now, it's, it's pretty true. The one I have at home is really special, just fantastic. And then he, the, the one we had tonight was so-so. And he said the last two bottles were night and day different uh, that they've used at the restaurant. So. Uh, anyway, we did that. That was really good. Then he brought me over just on the house and brought me an Old Forester single barrel store pick that they had gotten from a, a store, a local store here. And that was really good. It tasted honestly very similar to the Mictor's 10 bottle that, that we had last night. So that's all the straight whiskey that we had, all the neat whiskey we had. But we did end up finding, they have a cocktail there which is a blended, it's a combination of blended scotch, drambuie, and amaretto. And then they mix that in some ratio, and then they, uh, it's, it's a secret, and then they put it into whiskey barrels and age it for a month. That is truly, it was truly the best cocktail I've ever had in my life. I begged them and begged them to at least give me the ratios so that I could make some at home. So I'm probably gonna end up doing a video down the road about that and uh, try to see if I can duplicate it at home. They couldn't tell me which scotch they used or which drambuie or, or amaretto or anything, but they at least gave me the, the basic, you know, two parts of this to two parts to this, you know, that whole thing. So we, 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 they, he gave me some hints at it, but he couldn't. Uh, he actually called the bar manager at home to ask if he could give it to me. So uh, this might all get cut from the video, I don't know. But anyway, so it was very, very kind of a cool thing. But it was literally the best cocktail I've ever had in my life. And I was really sad because obviously I'm 3,000 miles from home and the chances of me ever getting it from them again is pretty small. I mean, who knows when I'll ever come out here again. So uh, anyway, it's a very, very cool experience. Uh, the service was fantastic. The bartending was great. Uh, the food was fantastic too. They had giant delicious fries, uh, these giant steak fries. Uh, I had fish and chips and uh, my wife uh, and I, we split that and it was really just a fun night. It's a way, good way to celebrate the birthday. Uh, had, some of, uh, had some of you on Patreon and Instagram that were kind of following along with some different pictures and conversations we were having. So that was a very cool experience as well. Well, I think that's gonna wrap up the video for today. We're gonna start heading down the coast here in a few minutes, see what adventures we can find. Hopefully we'll find some stores, maybe pick up a couple of bottles to uh, send home. And obviously we will try to find some good food tonight, have some more adventures. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. We actually started on Instagram, so follow us on Instagram. Always, uh, if you wanna support the channel, check us out on Patreon. Until next time, find the bottle you love.